Welcome to the third half of our engine mount series. Today I'm working on the third mount, which is the front mount. And I'm about to tack weld that. As you can see, it's just clamped on there and I always will trim the edges so it's not going to be so fugly and rectangular, but we're still a ways from being finished. So all I want to do right now is just tack weld it. Yes, that is the sparkulator. We're going to be making some sparks fly tonight, this evening. Here I am with the uh, chicken coop light trying to almost see what I'm doing. I'm working on the front mount today that's the third mount that i'm trying to get done and this one is tricky as there is not enough space between the rad support and the transmission or transaxle so a couple things have to happen here one i had to raise the bracket up from its original location so it's lifted up and also, I had to move it, or decided to move it from its original location, which is approximately here, over, so that when I tie it in to the existing two bolts on the core support there, it's closer to them and not way out here. You know, I don't think that would have been a great big deal, but that is just sheet metal sort of down here. And I didn't feel like uh, drilling holes and putting bolts, additional bolts through there. So I just wanted to use existing factory mounting location. So I'm going to try to do some tack welding on camera for you all. So I thought I just tack welded on camera for you all. But as it turns out, I don't think it did it. Great. Let's see if I can take some of this stuff apart and show you what I tack welded, despite it not being on camera. It's one of these days, gentlemen, it's one of these days. Okay, let's see if you guys can see this. So this bracket here, this is where it would have been mounted from the factory. Hopefully you guys can see that. So yeah, it, it would have been mounted here. So it went up and over. And here are my tack welds, you know, just fascinating stuff, right? They're tack welded upside down and sideways. So I'm gonna probably go ahead and uh, weld this on here now and uh, get one done maybe tonight. The key to good welding is uh, having a nice welding table like I do. gonna try to do something for y'all
it's hot. Yum. So here we can see what the uh, second half or the other half of that bracket looks like. This is tack welded on here. Again, this would have to have been lower and towards me more, but I lifted it up and I pushed it that way. And this will give us a rubber mount for the front and only leaving us with something to come up with for the rear. But that will be three brackets. So pretty soon I'll be happy, happy. So here is half the bracket. It's all welded up. I still have to round the corners like I normally do. But let me show you where this is going to go. So this sits right there and there. There's two factory holes for the bolts. I may add a third one right there. But for now, that should do it. We are going to round some corners. Of course, later it's going to get painted, yada, yada. But that should do it. And then let me show you the other half. That's this one. Is this hot? Yep, it's still hot. So let's try this again. Here's the other half of that bracket. It's nice and wet. I exercised or exhibited zero patience and just ran it under some water. Let me show you how this goes. Of course, doing all one-handed is wonderful. So it's gonna go right here. And this top bracket isn't done yet. So it's gonna have another sliver that attaches to these two bolts. And that should be pretty strong. I should be pretty happy with the front mount. And then we'll just have the last one in the back to do. Well, today has been one of those days. Sometimes we have those days where uh, you do something and you think you're recording, but you forgot to press record. Anyway, so I wanna show you just how this last part goes on here. Again, this is Still not done, but we're going to, you know, you just feed this bolt through, hopefully. There. Ah, what is the problem here? There it goes. Easy peasy. understand why it's now being silly. It's going through there. Should I be there persuaded? But like I said, I'm having one of those days. <sighs> so that's through there. Then we do this. Not sure what you guys are seeing, but this should prevent some. Oh man, wow. Wow, again, this is awesome. I cannot wiggle it anymore. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Yeah, pretty happy with that deal there. Especially since this is stock. Just gonna add a little section here, but wow, wow, this is going to be fantastic, and I'll trim it around the corners. Slowly coming along. And just like that, Falars, the front mounting bracket is done. That only took hours and hours, but I am happy with it. Let me show you what it looks like from all the angles. It's cut down to size, good enough garage certified and approved. 
So as you can see, it mounts here. There's going to be three bolts there. I need to chase the threads on the third one, of course. And then these two here. So five total bolts, that should be enough. And then it's mounted with two to the chassis. Those are stock. All these holes are stock. I just had to fendangle this thing. So it's moved up and that way from the stock location a little bit. And it's also flipped upside down. So some trickery involved. So now we have the, the what I call the, what is this, bell housing bracket. This didn't attach to the transmission. This one here would have attached to the engine on a Prius. And then we have, of course, the one I just talked about. Uh, call it the front one. And then we have this one here on its butt. So that's three. And now we're going to be going after the fourth, which is hanging out there. A lot of it is figuring stuff out. Once you figure it out, then there's nothing to it but to do it. But figuring it out is the challenge. But this part I enjoy. I, I feel pretty comfortable with this, even if it's difficult like on this gig. And of course, I'm already getting that onset of, you know, maybe it wasn't so difficult. But let me tell you, before I totally get uh, EV conversion amnesia, this was difficult. Okay, so you challenge me if I tell you it wasn't. Because it was. This was difficult. Of course, speaking for myself, for me, it was difficult for me.